It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Whatever, all, treble. It's on now. When a sailor wearing a Space Force shirt drinks Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force. <laughs> That's what it's called, bro. Fruit <laughs> Force. Fire and hole. Fruit Force. Cornerstone. I've only had one. Of every mentally disturbed. New Belgium. That's not a real place, is it? It is now, bro. I just made it up. That's just what they call the beers. So, I don't know. I was, uh... I just saw that, I saw the new, I keep wanting to say Fight Club, the new uh, Roadhouse, new Roadhouse, <laughs> yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. So picture this, the nefarious bad guy team down there in Florida, you sure. know, the rich son, you know, the uh, the overlord or the whoever he is of their gang, or it's not really mafia, it's just a crime syndicate. Yeah. So the head guy, you know, his son, shocker, he's kind of a mess. <laughs> You wouldn't believe the story. It's, uh, you never heard of anything like that. You know, the kid's been a spoiled fucking criminal boss his, yeah. his whole life. And so how he decides to run his crew is that they're going to get on a $5 million yacht, go flank speed through the waves, and he's going to make his guy shave him with a straight razor. Uh, that's what you do, I guess, when you're criminal mob boss level son. Uh, <laughs> like... like if you're like 11 years old so and the, stupid, you have to be 11 years old and stupid and probably a boy to go, that's cool. <laughs> well, you got to be dumb. Because first thing you go, no, that, that straight razor can slice right through your artery in a split second. Mm -hmm. And we're on the bow of a yacht. And this thing is whatever you sailors call, you know, it's going nuts through the waves. And he's like, shave my, you know, <laughs> because I was like scared to cut him. But that's when you just go, you know what? Right, yeah. right there. No saving you, bro. Like, tss, it's over in about a minute. <laughs> and, I messed up, sir. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> Ninety seconds. So I just thought that was silly, and that's that. And was, the syndicate's son is Conor McGregor. No, no. Conor McGregor plays like an outsider to come fix shit that the that the big boss guy hires. Oh, I see. And uh, he does the, his... So the bar hires a guy with his Jake, and then the uh, the crime guy hires a guy. Yeah. Well, Jake just wants to mind his own business, you know. And, <laughs> and make money being but, a cooler. But I'll, gi I'll give it this. It's no... So everyone has their opinions on Jack Reacher. I thought Tom Cruise did a kick-ass job just in the way his dialogue and stuff. Oh, he yeah. He goes out to fight. He's like, it's 5 of one He goes, yeah. here's what's going to happen. So Jake Gyllenhaal does pretty much the same thing. And he's like, oh. how far is the emergency room from here? And the guy's like, why? I don't know. We've both been in a lot of fights, and usually there's not a lot of conversation yeah. that makes any sense before the fight. <laughs> like, well, what's your address? Your home address, bro. Okay, well, that's me. You know, it's like, <laughs> none of this shit makes any sense. Because the, the guy literally goes, do you know how far away the hospital is from here? And the guy's like, like 20 minutes. Why? <laughs> really, bro? It's lame. You're out in the parking lot to fight. Yeah. And if they asked you how far away the hospital is, and you're like, <laughs> why would he be yeah. asking me such a remote? Oh, wait, does he mean? <laughs> Maybe he knows the answer to his I'll own question. I'll have to take him there when <laughs> I win. <laughs> but then that sparked. People started watching um, the original Roadhouse. With Patrick Swayze. Right. All they do is now, they just do the original one justice. It's just a big ad for watching the original, I feel. Yeah, well, good for them. Yeah. Patrick Swayze was if anybody you know, I don't think I don't think my kids would know Patrick Swayze for sure. You know, he's been gone a while. And uh, but you know, he was the it guy for a long time, man. So the big one was Dirty Dancing. Yeah. You know? And so he did this whole thing with Dirty Dancing, which you know, I watched it when I was a kid, and it seemed romantic because I was like 11. Yeah. And I then couldn't. you see it now, you're like, it's, really? <laughs> First of all, it's like supposed to be in like the 60s. Like all the music is yeah. doo-wop. It's and embarrassing. Then late 50s, 60s, something like that. And, and then all of a sudden, I've had the time of my... This right. overproduced song, and no one seems to notice. And they're just all like, yeah, that's a good tune. <laughs> That they made when the movie was made. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, and then Patrick Swayze, I think he passed away of cancer or something. And yeah. Then his, his, and then, of course, he was super famous for uh, 
nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> he was talking about the girl, baby, right? Yeah. Right away, right away, it's like, nobody puts Swayze in a coroner. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. He, I guess someone has to. Yeah, someone had to do it. <laughs> kind of put him in there. He had a good run. He played a pedophile a great run. in that one show. Well, uh, he was a little Donnie he Darko was a, with Jake Gyllenhaal. Donnie Darko was the connection. That's there. one of my favorite movies of all time. He plays so Swayze's good. role in another movie. They they played a role together, or played it in a movie together. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the it's always the secret basement library of crime yeah. whatever it is you're doing whether you're you got a person down there you know for or a couple the last decade and you're raising him or doing god knows what which is Keep not really sight not really too funny that really that really happens uh you know but i'm uh, just trying to figure out where that came from brian <laughs> <laughs> that's what he did in the movie oh he had all of his uh, child pornography stash in his basement. Oh, we were talking about Donnie Darko. Yeah, too. and then, I uh, he was and off then the movie. Jake okay. Gyllenhaal burns his house. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. that's when they find out. And uh, yeah, but he did it from the demonic rabbit that told him to do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like do most think... do-gooders, you know, well, it's like you don't do what the demonic rabbit tells you to do. I do. Well, that's my point. Dude, look There's serious, man. Fewer do-gooders than do-batters. So the odds yeah. that there's a demonic rabbit telling people to do good things I like starts it. to go up a little bit. Yeah, I dig it. Plus, they had a great, great soundtrack in that. And his sister was in that movie, too. And they played brother and sister, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's when he's like, we should totally throw a party. Yeah. That's his sister. Yeah. Who was also in the movie The Secretary, which is a great fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, really? That's her. Okay. Yeah. Yep. She was in a... Uh, Rachel was as a uh, Christian Bale's Batman, right? That I don't know. I don't do comic movies, dude. I can't. Or maybe it. the second one. It was the second one, not the first one. Yeah, but um. Yeah.